this is day 12. A couple people thought that the plants in the rock dust group was bigger and greener. So I'm going to measure it to see if there's any significant differences at day 12. So these are all the plants lined up from the control group. I'm going to take the base of the plant and measure it up to the highest point. So whichever seedling is tallest is what's going to be measured. Here's the test group and I'm seeing now what people were talking about. Especially these two over here look a lot bigger than the rest. But let me go ahead and measure it just like the control group and see what sort of data we get. These are all the bok choy grouped together. I wanted to tape it all together to see if we can tell the difference. And so I want you to take a moment to see if you can tell where the control and cases are. So the control is the bottom three and the rock dust group is this top row over here. Color-wise, I think it looks about the same. Height-wise, maybe it's a little bit different, but I'll have to tally up all the numbers to see. This is day 16 of the experiment. These are all my pepper plants. I was going to wait um, before I potted them up until they get a little bit bigger, but the bok choy is ready to go. So I really need to get these potted up as well. These top two rows are the control and the bottom is the test. Here's what they look like from the side. There's not as much variability in the height as there were with the bok choy. And truly I think they're about the same size. I will measure them just to um, show in numbers that they're not different. As far as the rest of the experiment goes, these two up here in the control group will move on to the remainder of the trial and I will put these in the worm bin. So this is day 16. I'm going to pot up all the plants and I wanted to show you before I did because really it's a little bit incredible what's happening I think. Um, now I'm probably biasing your opinion um, because I've isolated the test group but this is the rock dust group and here are the control group and it's really clear especially this one over here the plant is a lot bigger in the test um, rock dust group compared to the control so initially my plan was to bring these forward for um, the rest of the test and pot these up but I'm also actually going to take these guys forward too and put this in the rock dust um, soil to see how they do at the end because maybe they have a really good head start but I don't know what's going to happen at the end. So um, I think it'll be meaningful if I kept these plants too. Even in the test group you can see that there's a variability in size. Two of the pots have really big plants, this one and this one, and these ones are a lot smaller. So I was just going to take three, but you know, depending on if I choose a big one or a large one, it'll bias the results. So I'm going to try to take all four of these forward to the next part of the experiment. Let's review the results from the germination trial. First, for the germination rate. For the bok choy, I saw 100% germination in both the control and the rock dust group. For the peppers, 22 out of 24 seeds germinated in the control group and 12 out of 12 or 100% uh, germinated in the rock test group. So my conclusion here is that there's no real difference between control and rock dust in terms of germination rate. Now let's look at days to germination. I had 12 starter pots of bok choy and eight of peppers in the control group and four of each for the rock dust group. Let's see on which day the first seedlings appeared. By day two, I saw the first seedlings in the control group. This was quickly followed by the seedlings in the rock dust group. And then I didn't see anything until day nine when I saw the first pepper seedlings in the control group, followed by the seedlings in the rest of the control 
and the rock dust group, delayed by a day or two. So there seems to be a slight delay at the day in which the first seedlings appear in the rock dust group. Now let's take a look at the height differences in the seedlings. This is the data for the height of the bok choy at day 12. The mean height in the control group was 3.73 centimeters, and the mean in the rock dust group was 4.48 centimeters. And the difference between this mean was statistically significant at a p-value of 0.04. So you guys were right in your observation, the rock dust group, the height was a little bit taller at day 12 compared to the control group. This is the data for the peppers at day 18. The mean in the control group was 2.23 centimeters and the mean in the rock dust group was 2.33 centimeters and this difference was not statistically significant. So what are my thoughts overall to this point? There seems to be some differences between the control and the rock dust group. Sometimes better observation in the control group and other times in the rock dust group. I think it's difficult to make any conclusions until we see how these differences influence the plants at the end of the trial. So I'll do my best to continue documenting the progress of this rock dust trial, and hopefully I'll be able to get some interesting results in terms of the efficacy of using rock dust in container gardens. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching. Bye.